Well, what a season we're having so far. Unbeaten in the Euro Cup 2, qualifying for the second round of that, and we're doing quite well in the league. Can we continue this form on, though? Roll that intro. Hello and welcome to episode 108 of the Road to Glory Save here on Football Manager 22. My name is Russ Cup. Today we have two league games for you. First one is home to Fulham, and the second one is away to Bournemouth. Since you guys were last with us, you guys saw, uh, where was it, to the Cardiff and Leisure game. We've only lost one game since then, that was 1-0 to Wolves. I was meant to show you the Wolves and Olympia game, I kind of got a little bit carried away. So we're going to show you two league games, we'd already qualified for the Euro Cup too, we're doing fantastic in the league, so just want to show you a couple of the league games. So, moving on from that, we beat Liverpool 1-0, uh, Sainz picking up a goal in the 67th minute there. Uh, beat Burnley 3-2, 1-0 winners over Sheffield United, 3-0 winners over Slavia Prague, which confirmed that we were going to be, uh, well no, it was be the Leisure game that confirmed that we were going to be into the second round uh, of, of the Euro Cup 2. Uh, we beat Man United 1-0, that goal came from Celadon in the 20 minute, uh, 20th minute. Most recent game was a 6-0 hammering of Leisure, Joe Hugill Hugh Hugh picking up two games in that. He's been playing a lot in the Cup games, haven't really used them in the league, 6 games, 7 goals. Fantastic goal return for us in the cup in his final season with us. Transfer-wise, we are losing quite a few players. I say quite a few few players, it's only the two. So uh, Flores is going to Benfica for 1.8 million and Akbari is going to PSV for 2.2 million. Could rise to 3.3 million. Trying to loan Victor Junker out. Uh, tried at Billericay, wasn't interested. They're too far down the league. Uh, the footballing pyramid for him so we put him on the development list just to see what the loan manager can get like deal wise for him and Tony Parker who's never going to play for us so we're just going to stick him in Billericay for a season just to see how well he can do uh, if we have a look at the league table we are in 7th at the moment two points clear of Man United in 8th but we do have a game in hand on them uh, we also have a game in hand on Fulham and Arsenal so we could be creeping up around here uh, shock leaders in the league at the moment with Southampton. Fulham were up there as well. So it's kind of a dynamic change in the in, in the big six at the moment. Uh, Tottenham are down here in 14th. If we can continue with the way we're going um, and finish in a European position, we'll probably raid Tottenham for a couple of players in the summer, like striker, defensive midfielder, defender. We picked Lands, uh, Landers up from them uh, this summer. He's been a decent signing for us. So they've, they've got a good youth academy there. If we have a look at the Euro Cup 2... Yeah, 22 goals scored, 18 points unbeaten. We have top man of the match, Joe Hugill. He's third top goal scorer. Best player is Fordyce. Most assists is Fordyce with nine. So we're up there with uh, uh, with the best of them, really. So let's jump in to the Fulham game then. It's sixth versus seventh. So it's going to be a battle of positions there. So we're going with Cajon in goal, a back four, Fajaradu, Pierman, Landers and Carlos Eduardo. Dot Wilder at the base midfield, Anderson Louise and Akiyar's in front of him. Sainz and Hope on the wing with Celadon up front. Celadon's been really good this season. I think our um, scoring the goals is definitely improved for us. Bringing in the, the better goalkeeper has definitely improved us as a side. Media now think we're going to finish in 13th. I think we're going to get those European spots and possibly win Euro Cup too. We've got a throw in on the left hand side. Fajaradu into Pierman. Plays it back into Sainz. He's got a little bit of space. He's, well, he's wiggled free. Anderson Louise up into Fajaradu. Can he find a cross into the box? He does. And set it on. It's been cleared by Fulham. Katiana used to play for us. So he, he, he probably knows our weakness. He's probably spoke to the boys on how how to beat us, really. They're charging up on that left-hand side. Ball goes to the top. Carlos Eduardo wins that every day. Akias into Dotweiler. Back to Akias. Into Hope. Hope likes to shift the play, but he plays it up the centre into Celadon. And Anderson Louise has got free. He's got no space to run into, though. Takes a shot. It's a good save from the Fulham goalkeeper. We've got a throw in here, right hand side. Carlos Eduardo into Hope. Plays it into Dotweiler. Dotweiler finds Anderson Louise. The better pass probably would have been in defence. Well, into defence, what uh, Anderson Louise did there. Fajarado into Sainz. Celadon's got free of his marker. It's one on one with the keeper. Puts it round him, puts it in the back of the net. Dulwich Hamlet 1, Fulham nil. 12 minutes on the clock. Come on, boys. 
we certainly become a club who knows how to find the back of the net now. We are scoring loads of goals. 14 plus in our goal difference now. Moves us up into sixth place. Yeah, we're just doing absolutely fantastic. Free kick. Hopes in it. Chips it forward. Landers with the ball and he puts it wide. Looks like the keeper saved it. Yes, he has saved it because we got a corner. I thought he was going to rule, uh, give an offside there. Sainz is going to put this one across. Oh, he's trying to find Pierman but can't. Dotwell is going to pick up this loose ball. Plays it into Pierman. Landers. Uh, the highlight ends there. Bit of a weird end to the highlight there as we were on the attack. Half time. 1 0 to us at the moment. If you look at the match stats, it is all in uh, Fulham's favour. Set for possession, which is uh, evenly balanced. We've got that main goal, which is the, the difference maker here. Hopefully in the second half, we can kill the game off. No changes for us at halftime. The only change I'm going to make is our mentality to attack in. Just to see if we can get that second goal and kill this game off, really. i like us to score, of course, score a second one. It's going to put our goal difference a lot better. Uh, put us up to 15. Only four points off the top of the league as well. We're definitely up there for contenders this year. Well, unlikely contenders at that. Just making a quick substitution. Sainz has come off and Andrade's come on for him. Sainz has picked up a knock. He's been he's been in and out of the team of injuries this season. We need to address that, really. Last two substitutions of the game. Sees Dykstra and... Who else come on? Scrisoni come on. We've changed the formation a little bit as well. If we have a look at... If we click on that for the formation. Gone with... Little variation of what we normally do. Two at the back. The, uh, the wing backs moved a little bit forward. Fulham have got a goal kick here. Dykstra's picked up the ball into Anderson Louise. Trying out on the left hand side with Andrade. Dykstra into Anderson Louise. Cuts it in the centre. Celadon's got free. Celadon's shot is saved by the goalkeeper. Fulham get the ball clear. Dot Waller's head. Trying to find Squisoni. It doesn't. Although we've managed to get this ball back again. Anderson Louise, that was a nice little trick then. Celadon's got free again. He's moved it out, pushes it to Dykstra. Anderson Louise on the edge of the box. We've lost it though. But we've managed to win it back again. Pyramid's having a fantastic season for us so far. Having a good game as well. It's 7.0 rating at the moment. We've got eight minutes left of this game. So as I say, we've gone defensive midfielder with the wing backs there, two at the back. And what's going forward is what we usually use anyway. Last couple of minutes of the game. We've got four minutes of time added on as well. We're going to see this one out. Pick up a decent 1-0 victory over Fulham. Pushes us up to 6. Pushes Fulham down into 7th uh, spot. So yeah, we're, we're definitely knocking on the door for the, the uh, top European spots this season. Full time, 1-0 to Dulwich Hamlet. Uh, we definitely got back into that game a lot more. We had 3 shots. Uh, both All 3 of those were on target. We had 10 and 6 in the end. So decent game for us. Let's move on to the Bournemouth one. Right, the team then for the Bournemouth game sees Cajon in goal, a back four of Nogbu, Fajaradu, Pierman and Carlos Eduardo, Conte at the base midfield, Anderson Luiz and Yakyas in the centre, Celadon on the left, Hope on the right and Andrade up front. This should be an easy three points for us, but then again we did lose to Wolves which shouldn't, again should have been an easy three points. Hopefully we can, uh, we can deliver the three points in this game. 40 minutes on the clock now and yet to have a highlight. I mean, the game has been in our favour. Seven shots, five of those on target. Just haven't been able to convert any chances into any significant highlights yet. Uh, possessions in our favour as well. XG's in our favour. I think when we get the boys in, we just need to tell them to continue what they're doing. But uh, have a little bit more ferocity in what we're doing. We've got a minute added on at the end of this half. And there goes a the half-time whistle. Nil-nil. No changes at half time, just a positional one. Andrade's gone out to the left. Celadon's gone up front. We know Celadon can score. We've got a throw in here on the left hand side. Nogbu into Fajaradu. Anderson Louise. What can Nogbu do with it? Andrade's charged on a little bit. Hit a bit of a brick wall. He's gone backwards. It's been played back into him though. Celadon's on the ball. Akyaz. Hope's got three. He's got a little bit of space to run into. Can he find a cross into the box? He does, but it's not to a Dulwich player. Bournemouth got the ball clear. Can we get this ball back though? Or is it going to result in an opportunity for Bournemouth? So they're playing it back into their midfield, over the top. They found their man on the left hand side. In goes the cross, edge of the box. They seem to be giving them the opportunity now. 
Can we get this ball? Sh oh, I thought he's having a shot from the edge of the box there. Now it's been worked in. Ah, good save from Kajon. We've managed to get it clear. Danger's not over yet, though. Bournemouth come at us again. They managed to work it into the box again. It's another good save from Kajon. Corner for Bournemouth. Under a little bit of pressure here. If we can get ahead on this ball, get a counter attack on the goal, be more than happy. In comes the corner. And Kajon's caught it. Seems to be slowing the pace down. Highlight does end. We've got a throw in on the left hand side. Nogbu taking this one into Conti. Back to Nogbu. Edge of the box into Akyaz. He has a shot. Oh, he hits the underside of the crossbar. I have a bit of luck then they, that, that would normally go in. Pierman's picking up this ball on the left on the right hand side. Plays it into Carlos Eduardo. The, head, the highlight does end there. Dotweiler's coming on for Nogbu on the left-hand side of defence. He's not having the best of games, that's why we've taken him off. Just to see, uh, Dotweiler, when Dotweiler plays, we do seem to be better at the back. Uh, and going forward as well, he, he finds the right pass. Hopefully that's going to influence the game and get us a goal. Another substitution, Timo Kasp comes on for Andrade. Kasp goes up front. Celadon back out onto the left-hand side of midfield. We've got a quarter of an hour left to try and find uh, a goal now. Free kick for Bournemouth. It's floated in. And they've, uh, their head has gone wide. Lucky break for us there. Free kick was definitely in a dangerous position. We've got 10 minutes left. What can we say to the boys to get them to... Uh, but can we demand more? Let's just demand more. We've got a throw in here with Carlos Eduardo. Into Hope. Conti. Akyaz. Back to Akyaz now. Oh, and we've lost it. Counter attack on the go here from Bournemouth. We've managed to get our men back though. Can we get a challenge and get the ball? No, it's been worked in. And Kajon is uh, well, it's an easy save for him there. Dotweiler into Anderson Luis. Dotweiler's got it back. And he's just given the ball away. It's just the story of the game at the moment. Is Every time we get an opportunity to get an attack on the go, we've, we've given it away. Bournemouth on their right hand side. Made him go back into defence. Open up a little bit of space in the game for us. Hopefully we get a challenge in. It hasn't. It's a bit of space for Bournemouth. And again, it's straight to Kajon. Slowing the pace down. Because the highlight ends. Got three minutes left. Come on, Dulwich. We haven't, we haven't had any opportunities in this half, really. It doesn't look like we're going to have them again. The only, the only decent opportunity we had was the Akios shot that cannoned off the underside of the crossbar. Four minutes of time added on. I can't see that, that, that goal coming now. It's going to be a nil-nil game. Running down the clock. And the ref does blow. Nil-nil. So we didn't get the result we wanted here. But at least it's a clean sheet. And it's not points. Well, it is points drops. It's two points drops. But we haven't lost. That's the main thing. So we have a look at the league table. I think that puts us into fifth now. Yeah, up into fifth. So we're three points off Liverpool. They do have a game in hand in us. I think the next games we'll come back for will be the Euro Cup 2. I don't know when that's going to be. Well, there we go, March. Is that too much of a gap? I think what we'll do, we'll come back for... We'll come back for the Chelsea and Tottenham game. And then we can sort of figure out where we're going to be with the Euro Cup too. If you guys have enjoyed that, big thumbs up on the video for me. Subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with this journey. And as always, thank you very much for watching.